how to isolate genomic dna from plants DNA isolation is essential step in all molecular biological screens and is frequently the first step that is used in study of genome. There are three steps in the DNA isolation. First one is breakage of cell wall. Second one is removal of protein and RNA. Last step is precipitation of DNA. By doing so, we separate the DNA from other cell components. If you want to check the quality and amount of DNA, we use gel electrophoresis. At first, maintain your workplace. In this procedure, you would be required leaf samples, ice box, pipettes, gloves, pestle and mortars and other remaining chemicals. Take the leaf samples from which you would like to isolate the genomic DNA. Now weigh 0.5 gram of leaf sample as you see in the weighing machine. Cut the weighed leaf samples into the pestle and mortar as it would be convenient to grind. C-tap that is C-tile, trimethyl, ammonium, bromide. This is a detergent which combines with the nucleic acid to form an insoluble complex, thus separating it from the carbohydrates, proteins and contaminants. It is advisable pre-warm the C-tap before use because this is an enzyme factor and makes grinding easy, that is it helps in easy separation of cell components. These are the leaf bits. Now let us add 400 to 500 microliter of C-tap into the pestle and mortar containing leaf bits. During grinding process, bubble formation should be avoided. Then transfer the grinded leaf sample into an append of tube. Beta mercaptoethanol. This is used to reduce the disulfide bonds of the protein to prevent oxidation of proteins. Along with it protects DNA from quinine peroxidase and polyphenol oxidase. Then add 5 microliter of beta mercaptoethanol to the append of tube. Then incubate this append of tube in the water bath for 30 to 45 minutes and maintain the temperature about 65 degrees Celsius. After the incubation, take the append of from the water bath carefully. This is how the Ependoff will appear. Chloroform isoamyl alcohol. This helps in denaturing proteins and facilitate separation of aqueous and organic phases. Isoamyl alcohol is an anti farming agent. To the sample, add 400 microliter of chloroform isoamyl alcohol in the ratio 24 is to 1. Further, we would centrifuge these samples at 12,000 rpm for 20 minutes at more than 15 degrees Celsius. By doing so, separation of contaminants occurs according to its density.
After 20 minutes, the samples taken out. Then the supernatant transferred into a new append of tube. Adding saturated trisphenol helps in protein purification. It is actually saturated phenol with tris HCl. Again, the centrifugation repeated at 12,000 rpm at 20 minutes, maintaining 4 degree Celsius temperature. Sodium acetate. This is used to speed up the precipitation of DNA by ethanol. Isopropanol. While using isopropanol, it should be placed in ice. To the transferred aqueous layer, we would add ice cold isopropanol. and equal volume of sodium acetate also added. After this step, the samples can be stored for overnight. After the incubation, we have to give once more centrifugation at 12,000 rpm at 20 minutes, maintaining 4 degrees Celsius temperature. After centrifugation, discard the aqueous layer and allow it to air dry for 5 to 10 minutes. Seventy percent ethanol helps in removing debris and precipitation of the DNA. To the air dried sample, add fumule of seventy percent ethanol. Now the centrifuge is repeated at 12,000 rpm at 10 minutes maintaining temperature 4 degrees Celsius. After centrifugation, discard the aqueous layer and allowed it to air dry for 5 to 10 minutes. 1x TE buffer used for long storage of DNA sample. Now we will be using agarose gel electrophoresis. Resolution of DNA species on agarose gel is more reliable method in gene manipulation experiments and is rapidly relatively inexpensive method. Agarose gel electrophoresis is useful in identification and 
separation of DNA molecules between the sites 250 to 500 base pair. To prepare the agarose gel, we require agarose and TBE buffer. Take 80 ml of 1x TBE buffer. Add 0.8 gram of agarose to this TBE buffer and warm it in microwave for 2 minutes. After warming, at the bearable heat, pour the agarose gel into your template. We would consider that your template is not leaking and it enclosed from all the side. After the gel solidified, gently remove the comb. Take 5 microliter of DNA and mix it along with 3 microliter of loading dye. Load the mixture carefully into the wells. After loading the DNA samples, run your electrophoresis at 80 volts for 30 minutes. This will be how the gel would appear after 30 minutes. Place the gel in gel documentation system. These are the various gel images that recorded using the alpha imager.